Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi barakatuhu. Now I have made the uh, fish tail and head uh, gravy with the, some of the fish pieces. I bought the rohu fish cages. They take it specially and make the curry and they say that it is very healthy and very good for health. Rich with omega and also other nutrients. Then hope you will enjoy this Sahar ki recipe in Ramzan. The ingredients required. I have just divided them into four groups. One is for frying. This will give the flavor and also the taste. For that I have taken 100 grams of small onion chopped and few garlic cloves and three green chilies which I will slate and two tomatoes I will cut like this. And then I have just taken the other set as see the masala for gravy. This is uh, two pieces or one tablespoon of coconut pieces and 10 uh, to 12 garlic cloves and one tablespoon fried cumin and fenugreek seeds. This will give you a very nice flavor and also give a taste and it is very healthy for digestion. And the third set is the tomato and also the big onion. I have taken one big onion. If it is small, you can take two and one tomato. And now I am going to grind this masala into a paste. I have taken this for making the paste. After grinding this, in the end I will add these two and just pulse for four times. It should not be finely <coughs> chopped. So this will give gravy to the uh, <coughs> fish curry. Those who want to take gravy with the rice, for them it is net. You, the fourth part of the ingredients are the dry masalas. I have taken three tablespoons of coriander powder and two and a half or two teaspoon according to your taste chili powder and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder mm. and this I will fry well along with the onion in the oil and then I will add the ground masala of coconut fenugreek fried uh, roasted fenugreek and cumin seed roasted and garlic at least 15 or 17 cloves nicely and then added uh, onion one big onion and also one big tomato coarsely grown all these things i will fry well and then i will add the tamarind water and then after one minute i will add sufficient water for the gravy allow it to cook cook and then when the water reduces to half I will add the boiled uh, green the beans that is the pache avare or kacha uh, kache ballar I boil and add it and then add two raw mango pieces lemon says tamarind is taken and soaked in water Sufficient oil is poured and the onion and tomatoes are fried well. When the onion is tender, the paste, masala paste is added along with the dry masalas and fried well. Then we have to add little water and then tamarind water. I have taken 3 tablespoon of coriander powder, 2 teaspoon of chili powder and half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and added all these things into the uh, masala and then mix the ground paste and then added the tamarind water also and afterwards added sufficient water so that it 
the masala smell goes and when it reduces to half that time we will add the uh, other uh, ingredients like raw mango and also the uh, green beans after one or two minutes we can add the fish adding sufficient salt afterwards we can taste and add if we require more close it and let it cook adding green chilies now the gravy has become half i have to add the green pea dal that is the our i pache our i or kacche ball then i will add the pieces of mango now i will close it and keep it at the low flame adding mangoes let this cook for 2 minutes at high flame now this is the time i have to add the fish see i am adding the fish head first this part this part of the fish curry will be very tasty now i am adding the fish slowly you can do like this let it cook for say 10 minutes mix it slowly see for the salt and chili powder everything is correct now i am going to cook it for say 7 minutes at medium flame khana ban gaya bo now i am sprinkling the coriander leaf the fish is cooked and very tasty the very smell tempters to eat but we have to keep it for say 10 minutes then we have to serve it you can see that the fish is intact and the head is also cooked properly and very tasty it is the flesh of it and the tail and the other fish also is cooked i'll keep it for simmering for 5 minutes keep it for 10 minutes 
not 10 minutes, 5 minutes at simmering. The fish gravy is ready. We can serve it after 5 minutes. Now the fish curry is ready to serve. We can serve it now.